Hi everyone, this is Jennifer. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the Coco Daisy April Collection, which is called Meadows. I do have a lot of planner subscriptions and the memory keeping subscriptions, um, if you're interested in seeing that. Okay, let's jump into our box of happy. Yes, I was correct. It's called Meadow. So here is the kit card with the collection name. And then if you want to pause and read that, um, it talks about the inspiration for the kit. And then look at all this good stuff we have. I'm just going to pull all of this stuff out, get it organized so you don't have to watch the unwrapping of everything. And then we'll take a look at each kit. First up, we will take a look at the main planner kit. Obviously my favorite kit. I get mine with the standard size um, Daisy Dory insert. But this um, kit you can get with or without inserts and it works for a variety of different planners on the market. So um, just a very versatile kit. Okay, first up, let's take a look at the papers. You always get three large double-sided papers. So here's a look at the prints on the first side. And then we'll go ahead and open those up and flip them over and we'll look at the prints on the other side as well. Looks like a bunch of nice, beautiful um, watercolor artwork by Linus Potts. Butterflies, flowers, umbrellas, cute little pug dogs. Adorable. So that is the three pieces of large paper. This month, we did get a set of rub-ons in this kit. That doesn't always happen. I love the rub-ons. Kind of a fun alternative to stickers. You do get three sheets of stickers in this kit, though. Um, a set of alphas, functional boxes, which I love using those. Um, my functional heart loves those. And then a set of flags that you could use for lists or for dating an undated planner you get a sheet of stickers that looks like this. And then I always point out that these stickers work with the tabs that come in the die cut kit. So you can easily make dividers and sections in your planner with those. And then a smaller sheet of decorative stickers. This month we also got two of these plastic vinyl sleeves and I think we got these a couple months ago but I'm pretty sure they are just a little bit larger than they were the first time we got them and those sticker sheets slip right in so you got two of those and then the sticky notes for the month look like this they say just a note on this little cloud design um, the washi is a standard size washi with a beautiful repeating butterfly pattern. Every month you do get a daisy pin, which has the daisy on the end, and then the barrel and the hardware color changes. So sometimes it's gold, rose gold, this month is silver, and then the barrel crystal color changes as well. So this is like a nice pale yellow, almost like a cream with the blue crystals or rhinestones, whatever you want to call them, in the barrel. It's a black gel ink, and if you do a lot of writing, you will be pleased to know that you always get two um, refills that go right into the pen. So you should have enough ink to last at least the whole month. You also get a little Project Life Size card. One side has the pen testing, the other side is for stamping, so if you're matching up inks, or fountain pen ink, that's nice to have. You also always get a notepad, and this month has this little pug. What was I supposed to remember? Amen. If I don't write it down, I will not remember. So that is the notepad. And then the last thing for the main planner kit are these clouds. They are die cuts, and they have different sayings on them really fun so I can't wait to use those and then I will flip through the Daisy Dory so you can see the artwork but like I said you could get this kit without an insert it's a little bit cheaper or you can choose 
from a variety of different inserts. But let's take a look at the artwork. So that was a look at the main planner kit for April. And next up, we're gonna jump into the dashboard kit. And the dashboard kit comes with five, no, six, six different A5 size dashboards. And then you get the same exact paper pattern on six personal size dashboards. So let's just go ahead and go through those so you can see them. Super cute. So between the A5 size and the personal size, you can either trim down or layer these with paper and you should be able to use them in your planner setup or memory keeping. Okay, we are going to jump into the planner add-on kit. And I would like a little bit of feedback if you guys don't mind. Um, the first part of this video I filmed with my overhead tripod and then this one is my new front facing tripod um, so just let me know like which you prefer the overhead or the front facing um, for how you guys get to see the product on camera um, so this is the planner add-on kit and if I could only pick two kits I would get the main planner kit and this kit and I'll tell you why. Um, I already explained to you how versatile the main planner kit is, but this kit comes with some of my favorite pieces. This month we did get a pouch, that doesn't always happen. And then we got this little bag of goodies. Um, another reason I love this kit is because you get a different washi that is different from the main planner kit. This month's is the silver foiled washi um, with the raindrops. Um, in my mind, this is super functional because I'm going to be using this when things are canceled, um, you know, like baseball games or a picnic or whatever due to the rain. So in addition to being gorgeous, it's super functional. And then you get a set of die cuts. And these do have an adhesive backing on them, so you don't need a separate tape runner or glue to use them in your planer. This month we got a large notepad, so let me just see, let me grab my basket here. This is the notepad that came in the main planner kit, so you can see it's quite a bit larger. And super functional. We'll definitely be using that. And then this month we got two embroidery patches. So you could stick those on your dashboards, um, add them as decoration to your setup. Um, this month we also got a large paper clip with the charms on the bottom, which I just adore. It's a really fun little butterfly. You always get this card, which I call the kit color card. So what it does is it pulls out all the colors and patterns from the kit. So if you're sitting down to match stickers or inks, this is really handy to have. And then, let's see. We also got these two small cards this month. And then a larger four by six card. And then this is why I absolutely love this kit. This is how I date my inserts with these days of the week and then these circle date dots, which are my all time favorite stickers. So have to have this kit. Also, I always use a ton of these, super functional, and I adore that you get a sticker to mark when your box arrives and a sticker to mark reveal day, which is always the 28th. And then you get this small sheet of decorative stickers as well. So that is a look at the April planner add-on kit. And I think next 
we will look at the planner classified kit. All right, so this is a classified kit. So even if you go online, you're gonna see that everything is kind of frosted over on the pictures, unless you click through and want to see what's in this. I have not peeked this month, so I do not know um, what's inside. I haven't seen a spoiler. So if you don't wanna see, skip forward. If you don't mind seeing, we're gonna jump in. I did see someone ask in the Facebook group, which kit always comes with acetate and vellum? And this is that kit. So here's a look at the gorgeous blue plaid vellum. And then the acetate is a nice blue watercolor with those watercolor rainbows. This month we did get these um, tab stickers so you can make tabs or edgers dividers in your planner and I know that's what they are because these images are mirrored so you would literally stick this side down on the edge of your paper and then fold it over right in half um, and they would stick together obviously because they're stickers and you have a nice mirrored um, divider you also always get a clip topper this is magnetic and it fits on the top of the large magnetic clips in the store. So once you buy the clip once, you can change the topper out every month if you get this kit. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we did get this cute embroidered paper clip with the pug this month. And you always get three sheets of smaller stickers. Here's a look at the first sheet, which is a decorative sheet. another smaller decorative sheet and then these are another fun way to date your planner if you want something just a little bit different um, you get this sheet that has enough let's see you could do one two three four weeks so four weeks in the month you could use these for your days of the week also get a washi this month's is a standard size i think it's 15 millimeter washi and it's this repeating cloud pattern and then you always get a simon card but i was so surprised with this one not only did we get a simon card just singing in the rain um we also got a Gary card and I love Gary so Simon is the Coco Daisy mascot Gary came around a few years ago um, he's an owl and I just love him. Coffee is definitely his priority. So um, that is it for the planner classified kit. And lastly, we're gonna talk about all of the stickers. So I have the Daisy add-on kit, the classic planner sticker kit, the memory keeping sticker kit, and the Bible journaling sticker kit. I have all four of those to share with you. So I'll open those up and show you um, each package. Okay, first up, Bible journaling sticker kit. You will get several sheets. Most of them are on matte paper, not removable. So once they're down, they're pretty much down on your paper unless you use undo. So here's a look at the first sheet, more like a decorative sheet. You get a sheet of these arrows and labels. And I do use these in my Bible journaling. I have a couple videos up, but I also use them interchangeably in my planner. Sheet of alphas. You always get a sheet of washi strips and a set of date flags. And then this is the one I love to use in my actual Bible journaling um, with all these little quotes and sayings and then you get some functional boxes at the bottom. And then the last sheet, um, I was having a conversation in the Facebook group. I've always called these transparent stickers, um, but if you look on the actual Coco Daisy website, they describe them as vellum stickers. Same thing, it's just a different um, terminology. So these are all on white matte paper and these are gonna be see-through. Let me see if I can pull one up, can you see? you can see through that. So that is a look at the Bible journaling sticker kit. Next up we have the memory keeping sticker kit. So let's look at the um, sheets that come on the regular 
white sticker paper. You get some full boxes. Now these are like for the Happy Planner, their boxes are bigger. If you use an Erin Condren planner, the vertical or hourly, you might want to try the classic um, planner sticker kit because you can see the boxes are just a little bit smaller, but we'll look at that next. So let's finish this one up. Memory keeping sticker kit. Another option for dating your planner or making lists. I like to use these for my gratitude pages. And just to show you what that looks like, um, this is my current setup. Let me find the right page. This insert is from Paper and Cats. And in addition to the month view, when you turn the page, you have two lined notes pages. So you can see for February, I use those circles. And then for March, gratitude page, I went with a set of the flags from a different sticker kit. So you could use those for lists or dating your planner. You also get a sheet that's kind of a mix of functional and decorative and a sheet of alpha stickers. And then you actually get two of those transparent or vellum sheets. One is this large box, um, kind of bigger stickers. And then this little tiny, cute little saying quote sheet. Okay, so that was the memory keeping sticker kit. Again, the boxes are a little bit larger. I like to trim mine down if they're too large for my Erin Condren planner. They're easily trimmed with scissors or paper cutter. But if you want some that fit exactly without having to trim, let's look at the classic planner sticker. Again, we will start with the white matte stickers. You get a sheet of full boxes with some labels at the bottom. Another sheet of full boxes, and then you also get some half boxes and quarter boxes. This sheet is more of a full box, but you get trackers and clipboards, which are perfect for to-do lists. And then you get a sheet of decorative stickers with some sayings at the top and also get a sheet of alphas and washi sh um, strips different widths which are fun to use and then i always love this sheet that has the headers and the checklists and the very cutest weekend banners ever and then your one sheet of transparent stickers or vellum stickers look like this. You get a few washi strips and some larger quote decorative stickers. So that is the classic planner sticker kit. And then lastly we're going to wrap up with the Daisy add-on sticker kit. You get two sheets of the white sticker paper and this is a little bit of a smaller sticker kit. You only get four sheets in this kit. and then your two transparent or vellum sheets. One of those is an alpha with numbers at the bottom. And this sheet, that is adorable. Cannot wait to use that. All right, so that was a look at all of the planner goodies that I got, including the stickers. Let me know if you prefer that overhead filming or this front facing. Um, which one is better for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you back next time.